getting closer to a new school year. The clock is ticking for you to choose between sending your child to school or keeping them home to learn online. NBC 15's Justin Moore talked to a Mobile mom who's part of a growing number of parents choosing a third option, homeschool. Well, Kim, Ariana Big says the decision was tough, but one which had to be made. My husband and I spent a lot of time thinking about it, praying about it. After much consideration, Ariana Biggs decided to take her daughter Camelia out of the second grade and homeschool her. This year with the pandemic and everything, we decided that it was it was an option that we wanted to pursue. A growing number of South Alabama parents are turning to homeschool as an option to ensure their child gets a good education. We were already getting a pretty steady influx of people, and then when Baldwin County made their announcement, it was it was pretty much like a tidal wave. Aaron Wainwright with South Alabama. Alabama homeschooling says the uncertainty of how the school year will play out during this coronavirus pandemic is creating the interest. A lot of people are erring on the side of caution and deciding to stay home, keep them home just to protect them if they can. Um, a lot of people are worried that about halfway through the year they're going to switch it back up again. According to responsiblehomeschooling.org, 27,000 students across Alabama are homeschooled. In South Alabama, Wayne Wright says there are nearly 4,000 families who are part of this non-conventional learning. You get to choose the curriculum and there are so many to choose from, including free options. Wayne Wright says many parents just want to homeschool until the pandemic is over. Those parents need to make sure they are staying on track with what the public school system teaches. Biggs has no plans to return Camelia to public schools, although she worries about the transition. That broke mine and my husband's heart is that she had made these good friends. She, We love the school. She loves the school. But we feel that the quality of education needs to come first. 